morning, though, guys. Welcome back to another video. We are at something very unique. Something that my friend Freaktography, he's right there. He's already been here, so we're going down right now. He's going to do a funny little video. Something that you guys got to check out, definitely. I got the key, guys. He's got the key for that door right there. We have permission to be here, guys. This is, what is it? It's a, a nuclear shelter. Nu nuclear, a nuclear, nuclear bomb shelter, shelter, bomb shelter. It is... I've seen some of the pictures. It looks crazy in here. I'm actually glad I'm here. So don't forget, check out his new video. It's a surprise. I can't tell you what it is, but we're working on it together right now. And it's gonna, it be, it's gonna be pretty funny. We're in UBC. Holy, oh my Lord. Yeah. Okay, so I gotta go in. Go take your camera. Meet me over there. And I'll show you, I'll show you when I pop out. All right, let's I'll go. Bring the gas can with you. Oh, we gotta get gas. Gotta get gas. So he's going over there, he's gonna pop up to where the generator is. We have gas for the generator. Like I said, we have permission to be here. But, without further ado, I'm rambling. Let's get this party started. All right, so I'm assuming, I don't even know which way. I think that's the first one right there. Uh, it's all underground here, guys. This is all part of it, this nuclear shelter. I think this is the one he's coming out of right here. I don't think it's that one. I actually hear Dave right here. What's up? What's up, guys? What's up, guys? Oh, shit. So, let me ask you something. You can't open this door from the outside here? No. How come? Because it's... Oh, it's all locked. It's sealed yeah. with these... Uh, he reinforced his door to stay uh, locked. Okay. Okay, I get it. Wow, you have to climb through this? Yeah. Yeah. All right, we're going to see David some more. What? Is that a gas can? Yes, I do. And that thing powers the entire uh, the arc. Thing. Yeah. Is that? The whole thing. Guys, Dave's been in here, I haven't been in here yet, but he's saying this thing is huge. And that little bad boy right there can power this entire thing. I can't wait to see how big this thing really is. Yeah. All right guys, we are entering the arc. This is a pretty solid door. We got canisters for gas. Oh my god, we are going pretty down on a hard day. We got some rubber flooring because technically we're on a bus floor right here, right? Yeah. So we need rubber so in case we don't slip. Oh my god. This is awesome. Isn't it? What are we doing right here? This is This is the dance stop. Just go straight into there. Film. Go on. Here, take this. Yeah. I'll leave my shit here too, I guess. Yeah, this is a good place. All right, so Dave is sitting up right here. I can't tell you what we're doing in this dentist's office. You will see soon enough. So, we're going in here. We have a shower. Decontamination suite. Decontamination suite, huh? Yeah. Oh my. 
What is this? That's an x-ray machine. Serious? Yeah. The From what year? Fashion dental x-ray machine. Oh my Probably god. the 70s and 80s. No way. Yeah. That is cool. Wow. Holy moly, eh? Oh yeah, that's where you spit from uh, when you're getting your teeth done. Crutches. Dave might need some in a second. Uh, let's see, I got my flashlight on me. Let's find out what's in here. Dave, can I walk around this way or no? There's light switches everywhere. If you gotta turn something on, turn on a light. But it all it all kind of goes in a circle this place, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. G7 gerbils. What the heck? Oh, what is this? This is another bus right here. It's got some toys in case uh, kids are in. Yeah, we got some switches right here. No, no switches? No. Okay. We are in another bus. This is like uh, cots for people to sleep in. Obviously, right? This is very cool. To make buses the way he did here, this is amazing. We can have a nice urbex party here. Seems pretty nice, pretty tight, all the things. Yep. Well, if you're, you're coming down here for a nuclear, uh, a nuclear bomb, you know what I mean? It doesn't have to be the best. It's gotta just keep you safe, keep you somewhere to sleep. Let's go see in here, actually. I'm gonna give you guys a thorough video in here. Can't believe there's a light switch somewhere here. No, just this one. All right, so we got some kid toys, obviously. We can have some coffee, me and Dave. And what is this? Action. Oh, it's styrofoam. I wonder what the styrofoam is for, to be honest. Hmm. <clears throat> oh, there's a bus. He closed off the bus. He chopped the fronts and the backs off, put walls. So, and there's the, the the vents right there for it to breathe, so we get fresh air and all that stuff. What in the world is that? There's no lights in this one. Let's see. Oh. Oh, let's see. I got a room. I figured that room would be it. Oh, we got a kitchen. Viking. Now guys, this place was built in the mid, early 1980s. <clears throat> I think it started in 1980, finished in 82. Uh, I think it's something to that lines. Um, I'll probably ask for photography after when I go into the other room. But I think that's what he was telling me, something like that. It's been sitting here, just sitting here doing nothing. Um, if you are interested in coming here, I'm going to leave a link down below to Bruce. He's the owner. Uh, his website, uh, you can message him. Uh, if you guys want to come down here, take pictures, explore it. But um, if you do want to come down here, he's going to make you do some housework at his house. He doesn't charge you, but he's a little bit older and he, just, he, he obviously would like some help around the house. And me and Dave, we were there grinding out some stuff for him to do, and then we came here. So, yeah, it's, instead of you him charging you so much money kind of thing, you just help him out a little bit, right? And honestly, I think it's worth it 100%. Um, yeah. That phone, oh, what's this? Arc 2 News. 
Port Huron, Michigan, Volume One, Number One. Nice. Fallout Shelter. Oh my God. Oh, those are cool. The binoculars. What is that? This is a light. This is awesome. This is a bus here. This is probably storage, maybe. Holy moly. Oh, there's a art easel. Command office. I don't. Did I miss a switch somewhere? Map room. Okay. All right. So it's a little dusty here, but oh, if you guys want to play chess, there you go. If you guys ever want to play chess with me, let me know. E5 elk. Ow. What the hell? This is like a movie right here. Like literally, it's like, where is Freddy Krueger gonna pop out of? You know what I mean? Like watch, with no lights? Doesn't that look like it's from a horror movie? That would freak me out here. Not so much on this side, but. Got some water. Ah, I see some switches here. Uh oh. Nope. This is the dining room area. Got a couple of microwaves. And these are all hand built, these things. He did this all by himself, I believe. And uh, yeah. Oh, we got some more bunks here. Is there a light here? No. The light is not functioning here right now, guys. Um, yeah, they're pretty sturdy. It's got the, the loops outside of the bar. So this is awesome. You can't even hear nothing because it's all dirt above it. You don't even hear the echoing of the the aluminum of the bus. All right, let me see. I'm gonna try to hold my camera and my light in one hand together. There we go. The lights are fully functioning now. Whoa. Central office right there. It's got all supplies, tape, paper, uh, a bunch of telephones. It's crazy. World language program. Oh, let me get my light off. World language program, guys. This is, this is like a school down here too, I guess. PA speaker. Wow. Wait, this is where I came from, right? Yeah, that's where I came from. Guys, this place is already so big, I can't even remember where I went. Let's do this way. Wow. Alright, so I'm going to start at the very end and come up. So... Oh, we got a toilet right here. Holy moly, this thing goes on and on. Whoa. This is humongous. That goes to one of the vents. So, this could... This is like kind of one of the vents that Dave went to to go start the generator. I don't think the generator is there because... The hole is right there. I don't hear it. I hear the generator more that way right now. So. That's one of those bubbles up, up above. And then 
there is another point of entry that you can get into and out of here from here. What's back here? Just how much work was put into here is just amazing. I'm mind blown from this. Guys, don't forget, check out Freetography's uh, YouTube channel. Uh, he's doing something very interesting here. It's gonna be cool, it's gonna be cool, funny, uh, something different. So I want you guys to smash the like button on his video. So, is there a light here? Switch. Sink room. Ooh, here we go. All right. Got some cooktops in here. So it's got the two, it's got the four there. The two middle ones are missing. He's probably got it under repair or something. Or here. This is wild. It's a garland. That's not cheap. That's a very expensive stove for down here. And especially if this was built in the 80s. Back in the day, it wasn't as expensive, but to our dollar standards now, you spend maybe like three, four thousand dollars back in the 80s. Now that there is probably like 50 grand. If it's a high, high end on like a restaurant brand, like a restaurant grade, that's expensive to have down here. But uh, maybe that's the way you want to build it. You want to have the, at the time when it was built, like the top of the top stuff for here. So. There's a sugar, wheat, wheat. Yeah, that's cool. It's probably got a lifespan of a long time. That's a lot of different wheat and sugars, obviously. All right. Uh, here's a kitchen. This is crazy. This is like probably for like pasta and stuff. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong, but <laughs> could you imagine cooking like a big thing of pasta for everyone here? It wouldn't be off the charts or something like that, but I don't know what kind of food could be made in there. It's probably like a big boiling pan or something. So. And then there's food here already. I bet you these uh, totes are full of stuff cooking pans and stuff, so okay. So he's ready to go in here, obviously. It's just like it's frozen in time. Got some boots. Let's see what's in here. Storage, probably. Shelf storage, okay. So this is all stuff to keep this place going, running, cleaned, all that kind of jazz. So. Wow. This water? Empty. So. Guys, I don't know if I'm going too fast in this video. It's a lot for me to take in. I'm trying to take my time doing it too, but I don't want to miss anything either um, because probably the only time I'm going to be here. You know what I mean? It's, it's a far drive from where I live. And uh, yeah, I'll probably come back if, like, if other people wanted to come kind of thing, if they wanted me to be there. So, cool group. bunch of tools. Oh, that's the old way to do oil. Huh. I love that. It's awesome. Oh, there's a door back there. 
And you, what's this? Hmm. Want some more beds? This is cool right here. I like those. What is this? Is it electronics? Oh, okay. I got gotcha. you. Transmitter room. This caught my eye. Okay. That goes right to the end with nothing. This is where all the cables, wires, if they have to do anything, I guess, to set up uh, any kind of transmissions. Um, this is wild. I've never been in something like this, ever. I guess they're building something in here. Occupied a bill. Oh, it's a chapel. There's a chapel in here. No way. What's in here? Oh, nothing into the bus. F6. What? Frogs? Seriously? Is there frogs in here? Powdered egg. Um, I just see frogs there. <clears throat> More uh, places to live. Sleep. Yeah. Guys, tell me if this is wild. This is crazy. I, I, I'm mind blown. What in the heck is that? Hmm. Okay. No. Uh, there's some plates, trash bags, cups. Plates, jars, and we have a workout machine, which the chain has fallen off. Okay, E5 Elk, that's where we came from, we came from right here. So, let's go over here, see what's there. This is where Dave had to go through. That's where he went through. Okay. What the heck? All right, let's check here first. Actually, you know what? We're gonna go to the very end and we're gonna make our way back. Let's see what's this. Bulk storage. Okay, I get it. This has got, I wonder if these are totes of water or something. Got a barbecue in here. Dang. Is that another generator of some sort? This must be the workout room too. And there is a vent right there. For air to kind of go in and out. This is wild. I wonder if that 
This is the way I get back to where Dave is. I don't know. Oh, hey, look at this. Here's a map. Okay. So, yeah, Dave is right. I can get to Dave from here. So, I'm going to walk back and I'll do all these here. And then I'll come back to this room here. And I'll walk up. There's a surgery, reception, a main entrance. So, okay. So I've been into a lot of these spots already. All right, let's go. <clears throat> oh my God. <gasps> All right, there's Dave. I can't go there yet because I can't show you what he is doing right now. C3 cats, the cat lounge. wild so many totes I want to open some of the totes but I don't think it's for me to open to show you guys it's probably got some stuff like probably chair stuff I don't know cushions who knows but if it's like food enough I don't want to destroy like it's preservation all that kind of stuff but look at this this has got a cage right here you can get locked in or lock people out that's what that is and then lock people out this way too. This is pro. Oh yeah, this is one of those ways you can get out if need be. One of the escape tunnels at the roof. And guys, you can't open them from the outside. These are all made where you only can open them from the inside. So uh, it's better to get permission for this place because realistically. You're not getting in with no permission. It's that heavily done up. You know what I mean? Ladies washroom. Alright, let's go. Damn, this is nice. Wow. This got the works done. For kids, there's two showers. This is wild. Wow. What's this say? Reconstruction of social, uh, society after nuclear war. That's what this is about. This is about this place right here. So, volume one, number one. That's awesome. Arc two news. <laughs> It's crazy. I ran through this one and I didn't even see a switch. There's gotta be a switch in here somewhere. Oh my god. Don't tell me. Oh my god. Whoa. He's got these papers here. He's got tons of them. Float room. What the heck is a float room? Hmm. Mini kitchen. Beds. This is wild. So the guy told us when we generate this place up, it takes about an hour for all the lights to fully start working. And we've been in here for maybe 20 minutes. So um, if 
if you see me with my flashlight once in a while, it's because the switches aren't working, obviously. Um, yeah. I think that's where I came from? No, it's not. This is where I'm going to go and talk to Dave. Oh! Whoa! Oh my lord. What does this do? Guys, what would these do in here? If there's already power in here, this has to do something. Like, am I. Oh, look at those. Obviously, that's the main power. And I know there's two right here. This is wild. Those are so old school right now for the power. That's not. They don't make them like this no more. That's for damn sure. It's awesome. Danger high voltage keep out. Okay. This is wild. this. Oh, see the damage of the wood down there? So. Yeah, and then there's uh, curtains there. Not that you're going to see outside because we're underground, but he's obviously got it boarded, cemented off. Multiple chairs. Oh, the world. The world is yours if you want it to be. Here already. Oh, this is a private bathroom. Nice. Private shower. Conference room, huh? Duty stuff. Morning, afternoon. Huh. I was no. I thought you were there somewhere. I thought you were on the other side of the uh, thing. <laughs> you, got, you all turned around. <laughs> Gosh. It's kind of easy to get lost, eh? It is easy to get lost. I thought you were on the other side. I'm hearing these noises. I'm like, there's no way that no anyone else is in here with us. There's no way. <laughs> Damn it. That's UBJ, uh, UBD for you. All right, guys. I'm going to end my video. I have gone through this place. I think I've gotten every inch of it. Uh, I'm not going over there where free photography is. The owner is actually with us right now. Uh, I can't show you guys what free photography is up to. That's for you guys to go to his channel, smash the like button, follow him, and you'll, you'll see soon enough what he is doing with that video. I think it's gonna be actually pretty dope. And I got, uh, you guys have to go there, smash the like button when that video drops. I can't give you any ideas of what it is. I really can't. It's not for me to tell you guys. It's for him to release it. And yeah, that's it. 
But either way, before I end this video off, I actually talked to the owner. He said he started this thing at 1980, and the last bus was dropped in 1985, and then the dirt was all over around 1986. So, from 1986, he cannot add any more buses. He's been doing renovations here and there, all that kind of stuff. Um, and this place here has actually been on the Discovery Channel, National Geographic, and something else. I can't remember what it was. Uh, all the big TV stations have come here to do a story here. And it, I think it's actually cool. It's worth it. Like I said, guys, if you guys want to come here, I'm going to leave his email. I'm going to leave his website down here. You can, con you can call him, con contact him, do whatever you want to do if you guys want to post pictures. But just know that you will be doing some work for him. Um, as a payment to come in here so yeah so anyway guys you guys know how it is free photographers links down below bruce's links down below if you guys want to come down here i think it's actually pretty epic um all my links down below just follow me on my social media guys i chat to you guys it takes me a little bit of time but i actually do so uh stay positive merch there is a new line of stay positive merch coming out um I should have it out probably when this video drops, maybe within a week or so, maybe. Uh, the design's already done, so if you don't have the old one, I'm going to leave the old one up probably for another two weeks, and then after that it's gone, you can't get the original uh, Stay Positive merch anymore. The new merch is coming in, and it's coming in strong and hot. Wait till you see all the different uh, stuff we have, apparel, uh, everything coming. So with that being said, keep it real, stay positive, and as you know, this video is over.